So one of the things I've really been battling with, um, as far as it's going wiring-wise, is getting my taco to work. Going through a lot of uh, see what wiring's all out again. Doing a lot of fault finding, a lot of research, a lot of forums, just trying to find, yeah, things of the tech. Um, a lot of them just say you splice in a resistor 4.7, 5k, 10k, something like that into the uh, signal feed to your dash. My dash is sitting up there at the moment. Nothing seemed to work for me. I pulled my harness apart. Um, it's an aftermarket harness. Um, I guess it's just a generic aftermarket. But found a fault um, in amongst that. In amongst the power wires, the wire coming out of my ECU was correct. It's coming out of pin 10 on the red plug. It's going up to my dash. That's coming up there through that. And that comes straight up to my dash. Just sort of loosely just bridged together at the moment, just sort of playing with it. But what I'd found when I started pulling the harness apart, um, the power source for the OBD, which is these ones, was actually all connected together. So for some reason they'd given a, a permanent 12 volt supply just directly to my pin number 10 on my ECU and my TACO. Um, so I was always getting, you know, battery voltage up there. Which was frustrating because half of the posts I read said that that was possible and that was normal and it's not actually a voltage the TACO is looking for or the dash is looking for. And it's a square waveform, which is fine, but it was just not quite working. But even now that I've disconnected that and tried putting resistors in it, um, it's just not, not happy. So I'm a little bit worried that I may have damaged my ECU by giving that a constant 12 volt supply um, at all times. Just uh, an annoyance. But what I've just gone through now is I'm going to put a uh, autometer uh, 9117 module in. Um, now that one there, people don't know, involves splicing in to the coil harnesses. Um, both coils, it wants to see the power signal to both coils. And usually it, in the instructions there's to do it up here at the motor. Now everything up here is quite neat, not, not neatly plugged off, it's all sealed up, so I'd rather do it under the dash. Uh, that's what I've just done, because it's, you can see it's unplugged at the moment. So I've just traced my power wires, which is the pink wires, going to the coil. It's a factory colour, it's nice to use that in the loom at least. But just trace that back in here, and just by isolating a couple of fuses in here, I was able to prove that these two here all my uh, coil power supply wires. So what I'm hoping to do is just splice in the autometer 9117 module in here, rather than having an extra module out in the engine bay. Keep it up underneath the dash, and that'll uh, give me the signal I need for my tank, hopefully. Because yeah, everything else is running nice. Fans are kicking on and off. All pressure's nice. All the other gauges seem to be working. But yeah, just no freaking taco. I'll uh, start splicing this in and see how we go. This is the uh, autometer module, 9117, just their tack adapter. It's quite simple wiring. Um, essentially, it's a nice ground. Sets to the engine. I've got a uh, common ground coming directly from the engine block straight into the cab, so I'll be able to use that. Um, one of the red wires is the in to the coils, and one's the out to the coil, so you're just going to be joining them all together. Essentially bridging a fuel and sending it through the module, guessing it reads the pulses, the power supply pulses to the coils. That should give me a signal straight out to the grey wire. At least I'll get it hopefully sorted out. If it doesn't, back to square one. So the instructions for the wiring. Um, and the red wire to the TAC adapter, it's from the coil's power source, that'll be coming straight from my fuse block. And the red green, or red with green stripe, is out to the coils. So we'll um, set that up. Got a couple of sleeves here, a couple of shrinks. Uh, give it a nurse and wire up the uh, signal, and hopefully it shouldn't take too long. It's going to splice straight into a nice easy spot in the loom, a little bit of Wiggle room up here. These all just get joined together. 
So unfortunately the coils won't be individually fused anymore, but at least it'll work. That'll be the main thing. Those two done. And attack adapter. That's a little bit short. Put that a strip. That one over fill up this sleeve a little bit better. Green out to the coils. Same with that one, it's doubled over. Strips nice and it's big enough for these sleeves. A nice tight connection. Not be once I get it in there at least. over to my bolt. This is just a common bolt I've got over here. It's an older dash mounting bolt. I've got a uh, decent size wire coming out from the engine bay. That's bolted direct to the back of the head. And I've got all the common grounds for the dash. All going to the same spot in here. At least there shouldn't be any issue with grounding. Right, let's drop this dash down and we'll see what it does. Turn my fuel pump back on. Fingers crossed, eh? Fingers crossed. Probably got another wrong. Output setting, but I thought we get something. No, uh, plug the coils back in first, right? right coils plugged in, let's try that again. Fingers crossed.
something still awry there. One of the taco plug into that prove that signal was working. Rub this freaking constant 12 volts. I used to have going to this dash, it's now burnt out my dash. That would suck big time. Not a cheap dash.